Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here sharing some video footage from a workshop that I took in New York City. The workshop was held by Lauren Holm and it was called Learn to Letter. Recently, I took an online course with her this past September and it was called Passion to Paid. It was really great being able to learn from her in person in New York City, right near Union Square. In this video footage, you'll see some clippings of some really quick tutorials, some people practicing their hand lettering, and I have an in-depth video of Lauren going over how to set up your images for Instagram. The video is a little long, but be sure to stay to the end to see what the final image turned out. Lauren was amazing. She answered all of our questions and allowed me to record, and here I am sharing a little bit of that with you. All right, enough of me chit-chatting. Go ahead and enjoy. See ya. Be sure to like and subscribe, and turn on your notifications to stay tuned for further videos in the future. Bye. Um, so you want it to be as black and white as possible, but what you'll notice actually too is, let's say I didn't bring the dark stuff enough, so watch, watch what happens. So you see how it gets kind of like gray and gray. <coughs> you definitely want to make it so it's like a solid black. And sometimes if you pump the white up too much, it will kind of like eat away at the lettering a little bit, so you got to find a good balance. But it is levels, so levels is the one you feel like the black and the white lighter, and then you click okay, that's your image. And then you go to, uh, you're going to double click the background here, just so it doesn't, it's not a background. Because when it's a background, you can't edit it, so just double click, now it's a layer. Uh, and then you go select color range right there. And then you click on the white, unless you want to get rid of the type. That could be interesting, I guess. Um, but actually, let's try that. So any color you click, if your settings are fuzziness all the way up to 200, selection is on down here. Um, Whatever, and you'll see a little preview here. It's very confusing though because it's kind of very black and white. Um, so yeah, we'll click the white, and now see all these little dots, little ants. Can you can you see them? Oh, they're really hard to see. Anyways, little ants are happening right now, uh, and then you just press delete, and it's gone. Pretty easy. And then you move full tape. Yes. So what else do you use? It can be cardstock, it can be a wood. I have wooden boards that I just paint um, house paint for background, so I like a little texture in there. Um, and then I'll just show you in terms of hierarchy how I would style this. Does anyone want flowers to take home to their significant other later? <laughs> okay. so we'll, wow, I bought way too many flowers. <laughs> So someone please take them. Okay. So what I would do is, um, oh, it's a little Christmas tree. That's cute. <laughs> Actually, I feel like tulips are kind of funnier because they're spring flowers. Yeah. There's something about it. Again, the same way you consider composition in your drawing. Usually what I'll do is, again, I, I like to put it at an angle. You could totally have it straight on, but I find that, I don't know, it looks kind of more organic, I guess, with that angle. And with flowers in particular, you know, every, with anything organic, I guess, you're going to have just like a natural growth. That's also a way to, this one's much better. Leaves are better. So again, the reason I swapped out, like, this one, again, it's got a dirty leaf, but, uh, See that leaf is just really heavy and thick? You're going to want everything to complement, not distract in terms of... Got a nice curve, too. It's going to have weird leaves. That's not good. Maybe you put them this way. And so when you're playing around with a lot of objects, too, you probably want to have some variety in terms of like the direction things are going. Like if everything... If everything was just pointing up, it might feel a little bit weird, unless that's a conceptual thing. So what I would probably do, too, is start to add something pointing down, perhaps. Um, like, not exactly pointing there, but a little bit off to the side. 
Um, and so what I like to do is get my larger objects uh, in the frame first, and then I'll move on to slightly smaller ones. The same way with our lettering. Um, this one, let's say this one. And I'm picturing this being framed as kind of like a square, so I'm not too concerned about what's happening over there. I spend a lot of time on my floor photographing things. It's not very glamorous. Okay. And now I'll take some of my smaller elements. These are cute. I'm thinking, like, you can style this like photomorph photo by anything, right? Like, yeah, absolutely. Cool. Doesn't have any flowers. The only reason I chose flowers is because there's a wide, like, variety, I guess, of them, but you can do it with cookies or cakes or, um, <laughs> again, art supplies are an easy one. And again, with, like, color, you probably want to do a mix of, like, Color green, color green. This might even be too much green right down here, even if it's going to crop there. Um, but I like maybe some pops of yellow. That's cute. This one's ugly. I don't want that one. Good one. Get in there. Apparently, now that I'm doing more food stuff, I use a paintbrush to brush away crumbs, but you can just blow it away. That's fine too. I still do that. Okay. And then, oh, I love when I do little berries. Um, so, yeah, pops of color, green. I feel like it's getting a little too green in there, so I add a sweet stone, a bit of color in there. And even if we're popping. And you see how I'm kind of keeping enough space between everything? You don't want too many, besides here, like it's gonna crop though. Um, you don't want to have too many dense areas. So you want to give yourself some breathing room. Thank you, Lord, you're awesome. Bye, everybody. Oh, bye. 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 Thanks for having me. It was a fun day. Yeah, I can't believe, again, like I told you it goes by so fast. <laughs> it's been like seven and a half hours. It's so nuts. Um, oh, yeah, so we're, oh, we're cropping in here. Perfect. So now, because we're not photographing the whole sketchbook, this is actually, this is actually great. Um, what I'm gonna do is move, you can even move some props onto the sketchbook. I do that a lot. So you probably don't want anything like ever going in the exact, unless you're doing like a really neat, like one of those like things organized neatly kind of things. You, this is way more organic, so you're probably going to want things not at the same angle. Um, so like this, I probably wouldn't put like that exactly, but maybe if it was, we were doing the whole thing, I'd probably angle it that way. But for now, I think, I think I'm going to angle it this way. That sounds, sounds good. And then... That might not photograph well though, so this would be cute from the top, but from the side it's not as good, so we're gonna ditch it. That's gonna be a no. Um, same, same kind of greens. I'm actually gonna add some art in the back. Okay, and then
And then one other thing I will say, if you're ever styling with round objects, uh, they will roll around like an egg or something. Mm -hmm. Usually I'll take like a little bit of like putty eraser or even like a little wadded up piece of paper or something and if you just place it right next to the object, it'll stop rolling. Or you can uh, just use a little bit of tape or something, but it does get pretty annoying. So. Or you can just not style with round objects. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> easy solve. Did you for the shot. It is kind of crazy though how nice of a quality of photo you can get. So that's really all you need. And I have an iPhone 5, you guys, so I don't have a nice camera to take photos, at least on my phone. And it's been just fine. It's been a okay. Did you do the latest update? I did not, actually. <laughs> don't do it. Really? I actually think it's gonna kill your phone. I actually think I need to because my phone isn't working super well, but it's also like four years old. No, it's really doing updates from that. What? What is it? Uh, the battery drains. Like, there's problems with autocorrect. Oh. Um, someone that I know that had an older phone tried to update it, and it's stuck on the Apple rotating logo. I've heard those happen with the new update. The new Mac update is is like crashing people. Oh, no. Wow. Yeah, so don't do it. <laughs> they roll them too fast. They haven't tested them yet. They just like roll them too well. Every or maybe year. they did That's test it and they just want you to upgrade. It's very intense. My company like bets them and won't tell you, like tells you when to download them. Like once they've checked that it works oh. better, but then like. That's the only thing I don't know. They're like, you can't do it until you like we get our email. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's going to be even good. Then it's only for like newer. When you yeah, that's totally work, Did you do yeah. it with your phone and go straight to Instagram, or do you do it with a camera and Photoshop? That you I use? actually normally do um, my phone, and then I have I use like a Visco cam to edit. That's really it. Um, don't really use much else. I just don't have the time to do it. But I do know people who take their photos with. Feeling that. It's good. Nice. Nice variation. And then she sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I use your phone? Yeah, sure. So then you can take it up. Oh, um, oh. Oh. <laughs> well, well, well. Ooh, there's a leaf right there. Not good. Thank you. Actually, I wonder. Okay. More styling. So, I think these negative spaces are kind of bothering me. So we're gonna add, that's a gross leaf. <laughs> we're gonna add some individual leaves. Again, like for scale. So you see we started with the big sketchbook, big flowers, added in smaller bits, and now we will add another smaller bits. And thanks for sticking around, I know I'm terrible. The first time I taught this, I was like, there's no way, like, this is a seven hour workshop. How are we ever going to not get to everything? But we did get to everything. We're getting to everything. So, you mentioned earlier about the lighting. Mm -hmm. With her, with the photograph being taken on her phone, is she going to have cast shadows? I think, well, earlier when I held my hand, you see how there's no shadow happening? I don't know if it's because it's diffused light. Do you see, see how it's not shining directly uh, onto us? Yeah. Breather must be like on their lighting game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Like that's, that's a real thing. <laughs> like, Actually, that's, that's, that's probably it. There. It's that's like there's no shadow being cast. Yeah. That's amazing. That's really that's amazing. Just 
know, it made it a little harder. Hmm. I'm usually not a perfectionist, but things just look better with like three of them, and I think three little ones. Mm -hmm. Probably did right there. Don't know why. Okay. Excellent. Now with this cool, like non shadowy light. That's so cool. <laughs> wow, no one really in that edge. Okay. Again, like I do like using natural daylight. So what I would do is I usually take more photo than I think I'll need just so I can go in and crop afterwards. And then you can kind of take it some tighter crops. But every photo that I ever post. Oh, and so now that I'm taking it, I can feel that there's a little gap actually. So I'll just go Sorry. ahead and put a, a leaf in there. It's better. And then I always attach the tackle in this case to make sure it's in focus. Good. 